All right, well, Alaska may be famous for combat fishing, but have you ever seen combat haying? And I'm not exaggerating. The line to get in here was insane, and this is probably the last cut in here, and people are uh, were parked, and they were waiting in line before the bailer even started, uh, like it's some sort of grand opening of an amusement park or something. This is it. Um, I'm out here again getting these square bales, which is not the way that I want to do it. But I got the guys with me, I got the kids with me, and we are going to hustle. We have every trailer that I own, and we are going to get this hay because uh, we don't get this hay. There is no more hay. So it's combat hang, and uh, everybody's being good natured about it, but everybody is trying to get what they can before someone else gets it. So um, in a year of drought and a $1,600 uh, fertilizing seven dollar diesel um, it's just terrible I did the math on this hay by the way it's actually more expensive than getting the round bales from Delta Junction the issue there is hay in Delta Junction is hay in Delta Junction that's 500 miles from here this hay is going into my shop today so even if it costs me a little more um, I have it and the problem is, is there's no way on earth I can make money at this price I can't break even at this price it's a terrible terrible um, expense and that's just the way it's going to be and uh, it sucks and I'm going to remember this the rest of my life who did this to me and uh, you know some of it's the weather some of it's uncontrollable and the rest of it is political so um, just remember that as you're watching your food prices go up in the next few months which is what's going to happen this is all planned folks it's all by design this is not an accident so combat hang we're going to do whatever we got to do to feed the animals and keep farming because uh, no farms no food